Hi, I'm Elizabeth Chubbuck and I'm here at Murray's Cheese on Bleecker Street in Manhattan and I'm going to show you how to spice up your cheese board. When you're putting together a cheese board, you want a variety of different cheese styles, textures, flavor profiles, and milk types. You want to cover a lot of different bases. Something sweet, something salty, something crunchy, some sort of a vehicle. Cheese needs a vehicle to get into your mouth, otherwise people may just leave it on the plate. So, Rip Wrap Crackers provide an awesome crunch and a really sort of mild flavor with nice sea salt. The flavors of the crackers aren't going to get in the way of the flavors of the cheese and it's going to be a terrific vehicle, especially for scooping up soft cheeses. On the sweeter side of the spectrum, Effie's Oat Cakes. Sweet, crunchy, works as a cracker, also as a cookie as well. In a pinch, Triscuits will do. When you're thinking about what to pair with your board, Honey is a pretty go-to pairing, especially for softer, fresher cheeses. At Murray's, we're huge fans of honeycomb. The sweet notes of the honey pair really nicely with fresher cheeses, younger cheeses, and specifically the tanginess to goat cheese. It creates a really nice balance. Washed rind cheeses, like Telegio or Quadrilla de Bufala, pack more of a punch. They sometimes have flavor profiles that are a little bit meatier and funkier. So with meatier, funkier flavor profiles, you need some acidity to cut through it. We're big fans of pickles, in particular, sourpuss pickles that are made here in Brooklyn. Pickled carrots add a little bit of sweetness alongside nice acidity and crunch to cut through the rich fattiness of a washed rind cheese. Cheddars tend to go well with lots of different things, but we're huge fans of pairing a nice tart jam with a cheddar cheese. The rich, savory notes of the cheddar are a good contrast to the sweet, concentrated notes of a tart jam. Hard sheep's milk cheeses have nice nutty flavor profiles, but oftentimes with sweet notes and really creamy mouthfeels. We like to pair those with things like pistachio crema. Pistachio crema is pureed pistachios mixed with olive oil. In layman's terms, pistachio version of Nutella. The sweet nuttiness of the pistachio crema or the sweet chocolatey nuttiness of a Nutella are going to pair super well with the savory nutty notes in an aged sheep's milk cheese. And last but not least, blues. People love to pair sweets with blues. It's a very classic pairing. Dark chocolate and blue is a real crowd pleaser. Walnuts and blue cheese are also a classic. But if you want to get something a little bit more off the beaten path, kimchi, which is Korean fermented cabbage. Pretty funky, it's definitely gonna stink up your dining room. But when you pair it with blue cheese, it tastes just like buffalo chicken wings with blue cheese dressing. You don't need to find a pairing for every single cheese on your board. Three to four options will usually cover the bases. Think about something sweet like a honey, something sour like a pickle, something nutty, and something crunchy, AKA a vehicle or a cracker to get the cheese from the plate into your mouth. I'm Elizabeth Chubbuck. We're here at Murray's Cheese and you're watching Playboy.com. The coupe was really popular back in the 20s. You see it now maybe more used in cocktails. Probably the more famous traditional way is the flute. This glass is really great.